What is the Patriot missile system? How effective are they? What are they used against and how many countries own them at present? Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be educating you about the Patriot missile system. Before we get into the video, kindly note that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Without further ado, let's dive in. Let's begin the session with understanding what the Patriot missile system actually is. Patriot, or the MIM-104, is an all-weather long-range air defense system designed to fight tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and sophisticated aircrafts. Raytheon in Massachusetts and Lockheed Martin missiles and fire control in Florida manufacture it. During the 2003 Iraq War, US soldiers deployed the new Patriot Advanced Capability 3 and guidance upgrade missiles to defeat a number of hostile surface-to-surface -surface missiles, which were stationed at Kuwait. A track via missile guidance system is installed on the Patriot missile. The Mobile Engagement Control Center sends mid-course correction signals to the guidance system. The missile's target acquisition system acquires the target during the terminal phase of flight and delivers the data to the engagement control station through the TVM downlink via ground radar for the final course correction calculations. The missile track command uplink is used to send the course correction commands to the missile. Behind the terminal guiding portion lies the high-explosive 90kg or 198 pounds warhead. The missile has a range of 70 kilometers and a maximum altitude of over 24 kilometers. The shortest flight time is just 9 seconds, while the longest is 3.5 minutes. The Patriot Guidance Enhanced Missile was developed by Raytheon as an enhancement to the PAC-2 missile. A new fuse and low-noise oscillator were installed as part of the modification which improved the seeker's sensitivity to low radar cross-section targets. As a companion of the PAC-3 missile, the GEM-T missile provides an increased capability to counter air-breathing, cruise, and ballistic missiles. Through the application of enhanced hit-to-kill technology, the new PAC-3 missile has increased its effectiveness against tactical ballistic and cruise missiles. The prime contractor is Lockheed Martin, while the system's integrator is Raytheon. Boeing developed a K-band millimeter wave seeker for the Pac-3. The kinetic energy created by hitting the target head-on is used by the missile guidance system to destroy the target. In comparison to four Pac-2 missiles, a launcher can hold 16 Pac-3 missiles. The F-15C fighter jet was the first to have the new technology installed. The UAE requested the Patriot System FMS in December 2007 which included nine Patriot launchers, 288 Pac-3 missiles, and 216 Patriot GMT missiles. In December of 2008, the contract was awarded. In February 2022, the U.S. State Department approved the sale of equipment and services worth $100 million to help Taiwan maintain and improve its existing Patriot air defense system. The primary contractors for the five-year initiative are Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. In January 2012, the U.S. Army awarded numerous contracts for Pac-3 missiles and related systems totaling $921 million. In January 2013, a $755 million contract for 168 Pac-3 missiles, 27 launcher modification kits, and related equipment and services was awarded. In October 2013, South Korea requested a probable FMS worth $404 million for 112 Patriot missiles, which were later upgraded to the GMT versions. The U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Command awarded Lockheed Martin a $611 million contract in April 2014 for the production of the first Pac-3 missiles with launcher modification kits. In December 2016, the U.S. and Allied military forces awarded Lockheed Martin a $1.45 billion contract for the manufacturing and delivery of Pac-3 and Pac-3 MSC missiles. In December 2017 and February 2018, the U.S. government granted two contracts for $944 million and $524 million for the Pac-3 and the Pac-3 MSC interceptors, respectively. In March of 2019, the U.S. Army Contracting Command, Redstone Arsenal, awarded Lockheed Martin with a $506.9 million modifications contract for the production of Pac-3 missiles. The Patriot missile is transported, pointed, and launched from the M901 launching station. Each launcher is equipped with four missiles. The missile pre-launch data and fire command signal are sent to the launchers through a very high frequency or fiber optic data link from the engagement control station. In a Patriot firing unit, the AN MSQ-104X control station is the only manned station. 
the M901 launching stations, other Patriot batteries, and the higher command headquarters all communicate with the control station. Three operators work at the control station, which has two consoles and communication station with three radio relay terminals. The VHF data link terminals are next to the digital weapon control computer. The Patriot Command and control system has been upgraded with the Modern Man stations. It has a full color graphical user interface and LCD screens. Search, target detection, track and identification, missile tracking and guidance, and electronic counter countermeasure operations are all performed by the ANMPQ-53 phased array radar. The radar is installed on the trailer and is controlled by a cable link from the engagement control station's digital weapon control computer. The radar system can track up to 100 targets and provide missile guidance data for up to 9 missiles and has a range of 100 kilometers. The Patriot's radar of the US Army are being upgraded by Raytheon. The upgrade kits increase the radar's output while also adding the wideband capability for better target discrimination. Target engagement can be done manually, semi-automatically, or automatically. Once the decision to engage the target has been taken, the engagement control station chooses a launch station or stations, and pre-launch data is sent to the missile of choice. The Patriot missile is detected by the radar after it has been launched. The command uplink and TVM downlink allow the weapon control computer to monitor the missile's flight and send missile guidance directives. The TVM guidance system is triggered as the missile approaches the target, and the missile is directed towards the target. The high explosive warhead is detonated by a proximity fuse. Now let's look at the orders and deliveries. Wait for it because the numbers will absolutely blow your mind. In July of 2014, Raytheon was awarded a $235.5 million contract to upgrade the Patriot system with digital radar processor kits for the US and two partner countries. In September of 2014, the US Army Aviation and Missile Command granted Raytheon a $190 million engineering service contract for its Patriot system. In December 2014, Raytheon was awarded a $2.4 billion FMS contract to supply Qatar with newly production Patriot system fire units. Raytheon was also awarded a $650 million contract by the US Army Aviation and Missile Command in March 2014 to supply Kuwait with new production Patriot system firing units. In February 2015, the US government approved the export to system partner nations of a gallium nitride-based active electronically scanned array Patriot sensor. Raytheon was awarded a $2 billion international contract in April 2015 to deploy fully digitized new production Patriot fire units with the most advanced technologies for threat detection, identification, and engagement. Poland chose the Patriot system for its WISA two-phase medium-range integrated air and missile defense purchase program in the same month. In October 2016, Raytheon received a $250 million contract from an unnamed client to improve Patriot missile defense capability. In October 2016, the Royal Netherlands Defense Material Organization granted Raytheon a contract for a Patriot missile system with an MMS interface. In November 2017, Romania and the US struck a deal for the Patriot air and missile defense system. In May of 2018, Raytheon was awarded $395.8 million contract to develop a Patriot fire unit for Romania. In November 2018, the country requested three more Patriot systems. In 2020, it received the first Patriot system. When Raytheon delivers further Patriot systems in 2022, Romania will become the first country in the world to receive the most recent version. Hardware and software changes will be included in the upgraded version. It passed the US Army's technical review. In September of 2018, the US Army awarded Raytheon a $1.5 billion contract to develop and supply four Patriot fire units to Poland. The contract was awarded as part of the WISA program's first phase. Sweden graded Raytheon a $692.9 million deal through the US Army's FMS program in December of 2018 for the development and delivery of an unspecified number of Patriot fire units, as well as GMT interceptor missiles. During a handover ceremony in November 2021, it acquired the first Patriot unit. In December of 2021, the unit was declared operational. In July of 2019, the NATO Support and Procurement Agency granted Raytheon a $105.5 million contract to update Germany's Patriot system to the most recent configuration. 
It was awarded a $551 million contract in January 2020 to begin production of the Patriot system in Bahrain. The transaction was signed after the US and Bahrain agreed in August 2019 to buy the Patriot defense systems for the latter. In June 2021, the Swiss Federal Council opted to buy five Patriot fire units for the, its Bodlov GR air defense system program. The Patriot ground-based air defense system was chosen over the SAMP-T ground-based air defense system. By 2030, it would have replaced the country's ground-based anti-aircraft defense system. Raytheon Technologies, Rheinmetall Air Defense, and Mercury Systems make up the chosen team. In October 2021, RUAG, a defense company, and Swiss Aerospace joined the project. Germany, Greece, Israel, Japan, Kuwait, the Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Poland, Sweden, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Romania, Spain, and Taiwan are among the countries that use the Patriot. When Switzerland obtains the Patriot, it will become the 18th country to employ it as an air defense system. What do you think about the radar of the Patriot air defense system? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos.